During previous inspection, we found this clamp is open. This is the harness for the core. While engine change, we removed this clamp and uh, put it back after installation of the harness. So right now we found it open. Maybe it is. Maybe it was not locked properly. Maybe due to vibration. Maybe the lock is bad. There may be any reasons for this. But right now we checked the lock is okay. So this clamp is like a quick fastener. See, there is a rectangle over here. This thing. It will align and it will go in that uh, slot. Once it is inside, it will become horizontally aligned, 90 degree, and it will lock. Then after locking, we have to tighten this completely. This key, we have to tighten it completely. So before installation, we'll just loosen this so that we get little bit length. So we can push it easily. Once it is inside and uh, locked, then we can tighten this thread, and it will clamp it properly to the harness so this is the harness we'll just check if it is damaged or anything so the harness looks good we'll fix it right there we'll loosen this completely maximum if you'll open more it will come out so just see to it that one two thread is still there while you open it Here we have is quick release type clamps it is normally fixed on our wire harness on engine or APU so the only good advantage of this is you can release it quickly and fix it quickly. There is no hardware which has to be separately installed. So only difference is our head. This has got Phillips. This has got 12 point head and the other what we saw on the engine was a slot type, a key type. Okay. So this one is bet best one because you know you can fix the socket with this and you can just tighten and loosen this. For this we have to use the Phillips screwdriver and on engine we have to use some monkey or uh, the nose plier. The locking mechanism will be same for all these clamps. We'll start with this one. This doesn't have a separate nut with it. It is like a blind rivet. The nut will be fixed on the hardware itself. Okay. So this is the base of the clamp. It will be fixed on the frame with these two holes. And then this is the locking mechanism. This is the rectangular slot. The nut itself will be of rectangular shape. So all you have to do is you have to align this rectangle slot with this nut properly vertically you have to align and then comes the main part you can see this two point on this clamp this is the locking point the nut itself will have the slot so you can see the slot one over here and one over here okay so this slot has to be fixed on that point so right now our clamp is in locking position and then all you have to do is you have to keep on tightening this hardware the bolt when it is completely tightened the clamp will be fixed properly now the normal mistake what the mechanic does is maybe they are not aware of locking properly or maybe they cannot see behind this so what they do is when the nut is just turn a little bit they think that the locking is done and they keep on tightening this when the clamp is with the harness the harness will keep on stressing this clamp for opening it up so even in this position the bolt can be tightened so if this if it is in this position and when we are tightening the bolt what will happen is it is not in locking position so due to vibration maybe due to vibration or due to sudden jerk this will open up so this is the common mistake which is done while uh, locking this type of clamp so always make sure that the nut is properly locked in its correct position and then you tighten this uh, bolt okay so these are called quick release type so this was having this type of mechanism i'll show you this one also this one has got 12 point this better one see the same slot is there you have to align this nut with that slot and then you have to close it okay and then while closing this doesn't have that point it is you can see the shape of the nut it will not go beyond this walls okay so when you're tightening it it will completely uh, uh, the wall will block the nut and then it will hold the nut in that position and all you have to do is you have to tighten this when you will tighten 
it will completely tighten and the clamp will be done the locking will be done uh, when the harness is there as i said you it will uh, keep the clamp in the stress position so be, uh, before you are uh, tightening this you have to see to it that the nut is little bit loosen you can do it by holding the nut with the plier and then you have to loosen it so when it comes completely on the edge you will get a better space for pushing it inside okay so when you when uh, it is completely loosened you have to push it inside and then you have to rotate and then when it is locked you have to keep on tightening it until it is done so in, even in this see if it is not locked properly if it is on the edges like i said you before if it is on edges see even this one it is locked right now it is in lock condition even this if we tighten it when it is in stress and when we tighten it it will completely tighten but due to vibration this may slip and it may come out okay so always make sure that it is in locking position before you tighten the hardware even on engine what we saw it is the same thing uh, we have to completely make the nut horizontal in locking position and then we have to tighten it okay so we'll install it and remove the gloves because it's slipping we'll align it first i'll push it and rotate 90 degrees so that it locks okay so now it is locked you can see it is a uh, it is locked now i will just tighten it while you are tightening you should take care you should not push the clamp otherwise it will align again and the clamp will open again so i'll just tighten it fully see to it that the clamp is not touching the harness pinching the harness not damaging it so just and tighten after tightening just move it and check if it is opening and the work is done so after this i'll just try the cord which we have cut it before installation one over here one over here okay that's it thank you